So story time. When I was young as hell, living with my mom, I used to use her car at night and go trick off niggas in DC, right? It was one of those nights I got a trick lined up. I wait for my mom to go to sleep to take take the whip, you know, go to DC. And when I get there, the guy's like, oh, you can park anywhere. It's not a tow zone. And I'm like, well, who crib is this? And he's like, oh, it's me and my brother crib. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I would never forget this. I go upstairs. I'm about the car. I'm in this big ass apartment complex and I can't find the apartment building. So I'm getting irritated because he's trying to give me step by step instructions. Nigga, come outside. The fuck? I swear to God, this nigga came out on the balcony and started whispering. He like, hey, turn around. I can see you. I got on the white tee. I'm right up. I'm on the third floor. You can see me? Immediately, I get irritated and loud as fuck, I say, No, nigga, it's dark as shit. I can't see it. I finally get upstairs and this nigga open the door, eyes big as quarters. Everybody in here sleeps, so you gonna have to be quiet. I don't like being lied to, but I play along. So he's like, Come this way. I'm like, Okay. So we get to the room, he closed the door, and I'm like, Nigga, this ain't your motherfucking house. Nigga, get real close to me, start whispering, talking fast and shit. Chill, chill, this my people. And I didn't hear nothing else he said after that. This nigga's breath smell like straight zuki. I don't know about you, but stinking breath make me want to fight. Shit, bitch, that shit feel like assault. Did you just punch me, motherfucker? I have to play leaving, but I'm like, damn, I done drove all the way the fuck over here. I'm going to get this bread, and I'm going to get the fuck. And so he hands me a J, and he like, I want to eat your pussy while you smoke the J. And I'm like, bad. You got to tell me twice. I heard him take the pants off, legs cock the fuck open, sparks the J. What's up? I'm in the J, like, hurry the fuck up, nigga. So why this nigga come up between my legs talking? And he say, for real, for real, I wanted to take my time with you. He get right here. I smell his breath. I lay back. And I'm like, hurry up and try to hit the J, right? So I'm like, <laughs> as soon as I inhaled it, I coughed. <clears throat> so I sit up and I started coughing like shit. And then I gagged because I <laughs> Because <laughs> fucking breasts were like booty pebbles, nigga. <laughs> Shitty flakes. <laughs> Dookie nut cherry. <laughs> I swear to God, this nigga said, yeah, that's some thrax. So look, I'm like, I don't want to smoke anymore. I said, I'm feeling kind of sick. I think I'm going to go. So he like, wait, wait, wait. Can we please have sex? He was like, I'm not going to take that long. I said, all right, bet. So I lay back. He takes his pants off. He puts his dick in. We start having sex. He's kissing and licking all over my chest, my neck, my titties, and all of that. So, we done, and he gets me a rag, and he's telling me, like, I follow you on social media, and I'm creeped out because I never knew that. This, I met this nigga on the chat line, and you follow me on You just, that shit is weird. Like, the whole shit was weird. And so, when I'm done, I got my clothes on. I'm like, where's the bread? And he like, you gonna be mad at me. And I'm like, why? And he like... I don't got no bread. And I'm like, immediately I snap. I start going to fuck off. I'm yelling. I'm mad as shit. This nigga like, oh, you going to have to get the fuck out with all that. Excuse me? Uh-huh. said, nigga, I'm not going nowhere. I'm in here fucking your shitty breath ass. And you ain't got no motherfucking money. I was a pig. I'm trying to make the most noise that I can because I'm fucking pissed off. I'm swinging the keys around and I'm yelling. He like, all right, you doing too much. You got to get the fuck out. So he tries to move me and I step back. So he pulls on me and ends up tugging on my purse. So we tugging on the purse and he breaks my purse strap. So I take my keys. I have pepper spray on my keys and I spray that motherfucker. Fuck you thought this was. So we get direct. It smell like shit and pepper spray in that motherfucker. So eventually this nigga yells out my fucking eyes is burning i said that's what you get you funky breath bitch a nigga came in the room and said what the fuck are you doing what are y'all doing y'all wildin'? he said this bitch sprayed me with pepper spray i said this dirty mouth motherfucker call me over here trying to buy some pussy and don't got no fucking money I said and i ain't leaving this motherfucker until i get my bread so he comes in to try to break up the fight and i said and don't fucking touch me and so he like all right but you gotta go you gotta go man he like come on he's telling his brother he like come on he like get up I keep on yelling, I ain't going nowhere until I get my bread. The brother yells out, we ain't got no money. And I sprayed that nigga too. The African lady comes out of nowhere yelling loud as shit. She didn't care about shit that was going on. She came right up to me and she said, who are you and what are you doing in my household? You do not argue with African women. I did not say shit to that lady. I ignored that lady. She said, are you an intruder?
Why she asking the niggas what happened and they not trying to tell her? Slide out, smooth as shit. She's like, who are you? How did you get here? Tell me what is going on. I said, he tried to pay me for sex and he ain't had no motherfucking money. She was taking a bad this bitch come all the way down and looked at me and said, you're disgusting, you're a whore. Leave. I get to the car and I pull out the J that he had rolled for me. And I go to spark that motherfucker. And then she meows like shit. Pluck that motherfucker out the window and I peel off. And as I'm riding down the highway, I can still smell shit. Because he put his tongue all over my neck, chest, and titties.